Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com and this is my daily stock signals video for Wednesday the 12th of September where I choose just one of our many signals that we give our members in our air, members area for potential long and short fifth wave trades. So let's have a look, a quick look at the members area. As you can see here, we've got the long fifth wave trades on the right, the short fifth wave trades. These are on 60 minute, the daily and the weekly time frame. Every day, fresh set of signals and then stochastic long, stochastic shorts. We're going to look at shorts again today. Um, in the, in the short area for the members, potential short fifth wave trades, members simply click on the image and download the spreadsheet for today, which looks something like this. Now, I've chosen the six minute time frame. There's a lot of trade setting up on there today. And I've chosen Facebook on the 60 minutes. So let's have a look at this on a chart. OK, so this is the chart for Facebook. Uh, where I'm using the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite from Wave5Trade.com for the Think or Swim platform. Now it's also available for multi charts, TradeStation, and Ninja Trader. Just going to zoom out a little bit here to show you where I've isolated the wave count. Just recently, end of August, um, you know, up here we have this. Um, this move down on Facebook now just recently we've pulled back against there on a wave four and that's what we're interested in right now this wave four pullback uh, and this is where we want to look for entries for trading that fifth wave trade it is the highest probability move in this particular uh, trend short term trend that we're in uh, in Facebook so let's have a look at the initial filters that we put out into our uh, spreadsheets every day for our members so the first thing is we've had that wave four pullback and it's found resistance for a potential short in our green pullback zone this is our probability zones if it finds good resistance here and starts to move back down we've got an 85 percent probability it's going to go on and make a new wave five low into our automated target zones down here in blue the next filter measures the performance of that wave four we want a, um, this 535 oscillator to the top of the two subcharts to pull back between 90 and 140%. And that's where we are right now. It looks like we're going to crown today. And then finally, down the bottom here, we've got our false breakout stochastic. So the yellow bar at the bottom in the oversold zone here denotes a really strong bearish move. When the stochastic pulls back against there, it's like pulling back on an elastic band. It wants to return to that main bearish trend. Uh, so that's another filter there. And then all we've got to do is simply um, put a, an order on, uh, a, a, an entry strategy that is reasonably sensible. So let's have a look at this. Yesterday we had this big move up and then we formed a bit of a bullish pennant, but it did start pulling down a little bit. So we need to be entering, first of all, the 6-4 moving average low, the red moving average on my chart here. Now this is part of our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite and this is, helps us with our initial entry strategy. We have to be below this for a short um, in the, for the first hour's bar position here. This is Facebook, remember, on the 60 minute. The first hour's bar position is here where my cursor is. Now we're way below that because I've also looked at the low of yesterday, which it rejected, and we need to be below that as well. So the entry short for Facebook is 163.68. The stop loss is just above the wave four there, 167.28, and then the target's $158. So as you can see, we've got a great risk reward of 1 to 1.6 into the middle of our target zone, whilst remaining reasonably conservative on this short entry strategy for Facebook on the 60 minute. Okay, so our members get these signals every single day like this. Uh, we can use... Um, those that have our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite can use this to set them up, but it is simple to set it up. We have that Wave 4 pullback. We need to look for that move down, uh, and we've got to be sensible with the entry strategy. So really, really simple setups, high probability trades. Uh, and don't forget, we look at these on multiple timeframes. Okay, so that's it for today. Have a great trading day. Speak to you all tomorrow.